Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you can watch more great videos like this one. And also do remember to like and comment this video if you have any suggestions or if you want me to make something special for you. Of course, I will make something special for you if you do ask. If you don't ask, I'll just make whatever I want. And what I want today is pizza. Last time I made a video about food, it was the Duffy Nova potatoes. If you want to check them out, I put a link up there. I'm going to be making pizza, Italian style. Actually, there is no other style. Pizza is Italian. You can make American style pizza. Mm. Or oh, pizza is Italian. Whatever name you give it, pizza is Italian. Yes, pizza is definitely Italian. Let me check in the book. It doesn't say anything, does it? Maybe. Anyway, pizza is Italian. You can make it whatever style you want, but pizza is Italian. I love Italian food. I love Italy. I was supposed to be in Italy, but because of the pandemic, we are making it at home. Anyway, forget this. Let's make pizza and eat our own pizza here. So to make your pizza, you need to be in the mood. So for that, you need a beverage of your choice to get you going. This is mine while I make this pizza. Pizza is so easy to make and it doesn't need many ingredients. So for your pizza base, you're going to need some very strong bread flour. Double zero will be best, but uh, very strong or strong bread flour or any other bread flour will be good. So we have 500 grams. Then you're going to need some active dried yeast seven grams of active dried yeast you can put a bit more if you want one tablespoon of sugar granulated two tablespoons of olive oil 300 milliliters water one teaspoon of salt that should be all for the base you don't need anything else so for the toppings you're going to need some cheese of your choice today i'm going to use some red leicester some mature cheddar i like the combination a selection of uh, meats to put on your pizza. I love chorizo and I love ham. Um, I've never tried sour kikon so it's going to be interesting to see what that tastes like. So today I'm going to be using peated green olives. You can use black olives. So you can have some chopped tomatoes like we have here or you can have some tomato passata. The first step in making a great pizza of course is to have a sip of your favorite beverage. Yeah this is good. I think a sip is not enough. Have two sips of your favorite drink. Then you're ready to make a great pizza. Mm, yes. I've never tried meat before, but this is good. The first step is to get your water and put your yeast. Then uh, just dissolve it in the water. Then add your sugar to the yeast. At this stage, I like adding the olive oil as well. That should be everything that goes into the liquid. You don't need to add anything else to this. So just dissolve it. You have to do it gently. You're trying to dissolve the yeast, not kill it. And also make sure the water is warm. So what I've done off camera is I sieved the flour. So make sure you sieve your flour because it will clump up if you don't sieve it. And that will just be annoying. But if you don't have a sieve, don't bother. Just do it straight. It doesn't affect the taste. Pizza is amazing. All you need is just a fork for mixing the water and then a wooden spoon. Actually, you actually don't even need the spoon bit. You forget about the spoon bit. We're going to use the back of the spoon. We will put the salt into the flour. You can pour it in gracefully if you want. You know, sprinkle your salt, but it doesn't matter. You can mix it and you can use your hands if you want to mix this at this stage. Um, it doesn't matter whether you use your hands or if you use the wooden spoon. It's just mixing the salt in there. That's, that's all. That's easy peasy. The next step, easy, again, is just pour the water in. What I try to do is not pour all the water in because if you pour all the water in, you might end up having issues of uh, too much water. Remember, as I said earlier, it's, oh, it's spilling. Maybe need a better measuring jug. Right, okay, let's just be careful. As I was saying, it's best to add more water later than to Start, start adding flour so 
with this we just mix it in like that so of course we don't have enough water there which is good because we don't want to overdo it so we just add, just add all of it i have eyeballed it and it looks like that's enough water but be cautious don't add too much water so yeah th this is an easy step you just want to mix it in it is quite tempting uh, at this stage to say oh i don't have enough water and add more water don't, don't add more water if you stick to the ratios i've given you you will find that's more than enough i think that's enough for me so um, i've washed my hands already should have removed my ring but if i remove the ring the wife will kill me even for pizza she loves pizza but remove the ring you're dead doesn't matter how much pizza you make yes sprinkle some flour on here so you can use a spatula if you want but i like using my hands that's fine gently mix it in all together it's going to be sticky but just use the tips of your fingers that will be all right i like getting my hands dirty it's getting too sticky add some more flour so if it comes too sticky like i just add some more flour now I'm going to weigh the dough I normally don't do this I just eyeball it but I'm going to wait uh, BAM that's 877 let's call it 800 because I can't divide 877 by 4 in my head but I can do 800 simple 200 grams So just take these ones and shape them. So I'm making this pizza for two people. Therefore, four door balls are just too much for two people. So I'll take two off and put them in the fridge. You can put them in the freezer if you want, they'll last longer. Just put them in a bowl and stick them in the fridge and use them when you need them. So sprinkle your tray with some flour. Then just leave them to prove for about an hour till they've doubled in size. If you leave them to prove uncovered, they will crust up. The best thing is to cover them with some clean film. It's been an hour and look at these gorgeous babies. So there is our first pizza. There's our first door. So just just be gentle. Be gentle with it. Do not handle it roughly. So just you want to just stretch it out. Um, so I'm just trying to do it for the camera really. Normally I'll be flipping it around with my hands. But it's nice and stretchy, it's amazing, it's just the feeling, you know, so you can go like that, if you are confident to do that, but it's quite forgiving, so don't worry too much, just do that, you know, just flipping it around, left, right, you know, left, right, left, right, you know, stretch it with your hand, get yourself a nice stretchy, so you can hold it on the edges. Don't hold it in one place for too long because it's quite stretchy, so it will tend to just overstretch if you do that. But get it as wide as you want. So if you are like me, love a, a, a thick pizza base, you can make it a bit thicker, make it thin if you want. So this is what we do. Put that, dust it a little bit, and then we can get our pizza. Put it on that. So if you are pedantic, you can try to, you know, just make it 
make sure it covers the whole tray and then just make sure you pinch it in around the, the edges here it doesn't have to be perfectly round of course if you like perfectly round pizza just go and buy it dominoes the first step to putting toppings to your pizza is to add your tomatoes so you can add the tomatoes plain if you want but we're going to throw in some herbs so for the herbs we're going to add some oregano you know what there's no harm in adding loads of oregano if you want to add as much as you want then we're going to add some basil of course if you are american you're going to call it basil so for the benefit of our american friends let's add some basil the temptation is to add some salt to this but please don't add salt because your meats are going to be salty so if you add extra salt you're going to find yourself in salt hell so just spray your tomatoes then grate on the cheddar then put on the red leicester that should be enough of course you can put a bit more if you want you can be artistic with your meat if you want but well, i try to go for a, an even spread so that every slice of pizza will have meat that should be enough meat for me and let's put some olives what i like is just to just sprinkle a little bit more cheese and, well not loads more cheese but like that. A tiny amount of cheese so that there's a bit of melting cheese on the meat then that's ready we put it in the oven for six to seven minutes after seven minutes in the oven at 250 degrees this is what your pizza would look like isn't that amazing i can't wait to tuck into this i hope you enjoyed this video and you will enjoy making this pizza it's really simple thank you for watching don't forget to like this video and subscribe engage in the comments suggest something that you want me to make i'll see if i can make it or make a mess of it either way i'll share with you my attempts thanks for watching